Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm a homeschooling mom of four in Tennessee, and today I'm going to do a long-awaited update on high school and how it's going for us in this year, 2021. So let's get into it and see how things are going. So you guys have asked me, how are things going with high school? Did you get some of the kinks worked out? Um, and I can link in the cards above um, last year when I shared our curriculum plan for our high school year, ninth grade, um, there was a few little kinks that needed to be worked out, such as our umbrella school was really weird about the typing lessons. I guess I didn't bring that book in. But anyway, the typing lessons that we were going to do. We were going to do um, typing through the good and the beautiful. And they've got a really nice typing program. I really see no problem with it. And I asked our umbrella school, so what does count if this typing course doesn't count and you don't recognize it? Um, what do you recognize? Oh, well, we recognize Mavis Beacon. I'm thinking, okay, I really don't see much of a difference between Mavis Beacon and this typing program. Like, typing is typing. Am I right? Okay, so I don't know. You may agree with me. You may disagree with me. That's up to you. But she, I had already purchased her typing program through the good and the beautiful, and I'm like, it's typing, okay? So <laughs> I just wrote in, Mavis Beacon. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so she is working on her typing, but it is the good and the beautiful, so yeah. I figure the outcome's the same, it's typing. Anyway, so that was one thing that we had to deal with. Um, another was that um, she wanted to use Duolingo for her Spanish program, and they um, did not recognize even the paid for version of Duolingo as being a viable program for high school. So I just decided to drop Spanish from her course load for this year, and um, Actually, our church school teacher has offered to teach her Spanish. Um, she's very fluent in it, and so that's really exciting. So that'll be something that she'll start working on probably over the summer, is doing Spanish one with somebody in person. So that'll be, that'll be better than ever, right? So I did drop that from the course load. Now, we still had, I think it was 7.5 or 6.5 at that point, credits that she was going to be doing for the semester. Well, fast forward to the end of the quarter, or the end of the semester rather, and I had sent in all of her grades and I thought everything was fine. Now you remember, if you watched my um, history, or not history, but my high school curriculum haul, um, at the beginning of this year I had talked about doing um, the Good and the Beautiful history for high school and how that seemed like it was going to work out, but there was definitely some bumps to work out with our umbrella school. So I thought that we had worked all those kinks out. So I send the grades all in and everything, and then several weeks later, I get a letter in the mail, and oh my goodness, I, I was pretty upset. <laughs> It pretty much discredited like everything that we were doing for the year like it put down her um, Credits from 7.5 down to 5.5. I'm like this is ridiculous um, They had failed to make notes of the fact that um, you know, we had switched typing um, that we had gotten rid of the Spanish um, and then they seemed to completely reformulate their idea on how the good and the beautiful science should work for high school. So, in case this is a problem for any of you all out there, let's just go over <laughs> what they did, okay. So, since the good and the beautiful is a four-year course, and since they do have um, worksheets for high school level, Make sure you print the high school level, okay? Otherwise, it doesn't count. Anyway, 
since they do all that, it is considered viable for high school, okay? You can use the good and the beautiful history for high school. However, it's only worth 0 0.25 credits of U.S. history and you, um, 0 0.25 credits of world history per year, which means that all the work that we're doing in this this year isn't going to count until next year and then she can claim it for 0 0.5 credits of U.S. history and 0 0.5 credits of world history. She can claim it next year. Oh my, you guys. It's just frustrating, okay? I'm sure it's all minor details, but it's just frustrating, you know, when you get all that back and you think, you know, because high school is, it's a bit to plan for, you know, you really have to think it all through and, okay, we can do this credit for this and this for that, and, you know, you want things to look good for their transcripts later on when you, they go to college and all of that. Anyway, so it's just really frustrating to me to see, okay, now she's really not getting any credit on paper this year for doing history. So that is, in a nutshell, how it works um, with the good and the beautiful. And I think she talked, the lady at my umbrella school talked to the good and the beautiful some more, or we looked at it. I'm not really sure. I talked with her for some time about it all because, I was, as I said, I was pretty frustrated. And um, so yeah, that is how it's going to work because um, it's a four-year course instead of the two years of history that are required it's a four-year course so every other year she gets the credits for it so that by the end of the four years she has her two credits of history if that makes any sense at all I hope it does if it doesn't you can comment I'll try to explain some more <laughs> so anyway we are continuing with it because we do like this history course. We've done a ton of it um, in years past. And I need to look on the website. Is there only four years of, of this history on there? There might be. I don't know. I need to look. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that is what we're doing. Um, she's like, well, has she done it before? I'm like, well, yeah. But not with the, the high school work. Um, worksheets, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> She's like, well, four years using the high school worksheets. So that's that. So when I reformulated everything, like all her grade reports and everything, because I, I actually had to rewrite her curriculum plan and send it all back in and uh, resend her grades in and all that. So when I did that, I, I told her the counselor I said I am going to be adding some things <laughs> because I really want to be more up around that you know 6.5 or 7.5 credits for this year so she's like well does she exercise I'm like well yeah <laughs> so she said we'll put PE down and um, but apparently you actually have to specify what kind of PE you're doing. So, you know, it could be aerobics or um, um, weight training or, you know, there's a bunch of different things. But anyway, so I was able to add PE. Oh, the other thing that they fussed about was um, I did instra, no, I did, what did I do? Performing arts. I put down performing arts. And then it was under, under that heading was, um, piano lessons, violin lessons. Well, they wanted me to correct that to instrumental music. Okay, so there's a note for y'all there too. <laughs> instrumental music. Okay, so that's what I wrote. All right, so we did that. And then um, also she picked up, and I don't have it to show it to you because it is online. She started doing the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace Program for high school level. So that therefore is personal finance, 0 0.5 credits for that. So I added that in, I added the physical exercise, and then I 
also added in Bible, which I kind of thought that I had that on there, but apparently I didn't. Anyway, so I added in Bible and it brought it up to 7.5 credits. So she also said that you can claim Bible every year for four years. So um, yeah, that's good to know. You know, they're a Christian, Christian school, so um, you can do that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the biggest updates was just that I, I really had to reword things, rewrite things, recalibrate a little bit. It was kind of a frustrating little end slash beginning to this uh, spring semester. But anyway, we got through it and I got it all figured out for now, for now. So she's really doing well, working right on through um, she's doing her health here. We're still really liking the Ace Paces. She absolutely loves it, actually. She loves um, Ace Paces health program. In fact, through um, reading all this stuff, she thinks that she wants to go into nutrition. So, good for her. Uh, she just really, really enjoys it. Um, she's doing excellent, excellent in her um, high school uh, language arts program um, with the good and the beautiful and she's at unit six in her language arts I think it goes up to ten so she's really making good progress with that and uh, we just really do love it okay I know several of you have asked if we did she's actually a year ahead she's on high school too um, because they didn't have a very good transition program well they do they've been adding to it okay um, their eighth grade year is kind of sparse with the good and the beautiful and so she actually finished the transitional course and then started in with high school one um, last year before she was even in ninth grade so she just wrote a really long essay all about the life of Deborah Sampson which was the lady who posed as a man in um, the war so that was really kind of neat really good article um, I learned a lot <laughs> so here she's learning or she's going to be learning here pretty quick about national parks and uh, yeah she just really really enjoys the good and the beautiful language arts and uh, she's gonna be making a Hawaiian plumeria here at the end my mom has been helping her with some of the art projects my mom is a um, an artist and so she's been helping her with some of them. I don't have her do every single project, but we pick several and do them. And also she's helping her with sewing. Um, I didn't need to claim that this year, but I may um, kind of roll it over into next year because um, she'll still be helping her with sewing. They're doing a quilt. So that can be a whole mick um, credit. So there's just so many things when you're homeschooling, you live at home, we live on a hobby farm, there's just so many different things that you can count as credits, but you don't need to count all of it, if that makes sense. <laughs> she's still doing the Ace Paces Science. I think she's on fish right now, and she's on, I don't know which one she's on. I mean, I don't know what number it goes. I don't know what number it goes up to, like how many books into it she's at. But she is plugging away at her biology and doing really well. Um, I'm really proud of her. Um, just her self motivation and everything is excellent. And um, for Bible, she's been listening to um, the Bible on an app. I'm trying to remember what that app is. like I read or uh, if I think of it I will link it down below but it's kind of an animated reading of the Bible and it's on an app form and uh, so they listen to that or she listens to that at night and um, it's going really well so just trying to think if there was anything else I needed to cover before I sign off there's one more thing that I did want to talk about one of the questions that was asked or comment that was made in the last video was wow I think I'd either be moving or like finding a different umbrella school or something like that and it did get my wheels turning because I'm like surely there is somebody out there in the state of Tennessee 
that is uh, a, an umbrella school that's a little less stringent. From talking to others, I have found that the one that we're using used to be a little easier to work with, um, but the founder, you know, he's not doing as much with it, and the people that are taking over, I feel like they're not as up to date as they should be on the newer curriculum that's out there. And so, like, their curriculum suggestions, um, some of them are even outdated. Like, when I click on them, um, the suggestions for different um, topics of study, the links don't work, or <laughs> uh, they don't sell that level of it anymore, or whatever the case may be. So, I do feel like that's a little outdated. So anyway, I did start looking um, at some other umbrella schools that serve Tennessee, and I did find one. It's called the Farm School, and if any of you guys have heard of it, you'll have to let me know in the comments, but um, I'm excited about it. I don't know if I'm going to switch Hannah over to it just because we're already kind of set up with the umbrella school we're now using and we are into high school and if I did then we're like messed up with the history I don't know guys I'm thinking about it but I do know for sure I think for sure I haven't tried them yet but I really like what I hear about it that I'm gonna switch the other kids over to using the farm school as our umbrella school because um, Partly because you can enter all their grades online. Everything's just recorded online. It's awesome. None of this mail copying and writing and copying and mailing in and hoping it gets there and hoping it gets back and all that. None of that outdated stuff. I can just go right online onto my account, fill in their grades. I really, really love that. That's like A plus in my book. Okay, so there's that that has it going for them. Also, um, they're just really less stringent about things. They actually let you be the teacher. They actually let you pick what you need to pick and change what you need to change without reporting everything. They want to know your topic of study. That's about it. <laughs> We're studying math, science, English, you know, spelling. Write it down. And then it's up to you how you teach it. Yes, please let me be the teacher. I realize that there are different ones out there that need more of a stringent guideline to follow or that um, maybe aren't doing what they should do as a homeschool parent. Um, so I suppose that there are, I don't know, are uses for some of these ones that are so much more stringent, but to me it's exhausting because I want the flexibility to be able to change something if it's not working the way I need it to work for my child without having to change a whole sheet about it and mail it in. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, those are just some thoughts that I have <laughs> for next year before any of my other kids enter high school and we have to deal with all the credit things because looking into it, really, you do not need the official transcript um, right, or the accreditation, the accreditation. You don't have to have the accreditation to get in to college. Am I saying this right? My brain is jumbled. Anyway, you don't need that official accreditation transcripty thing that the farm school, that, or <laughs> that the umbrella school that we're with now offers from everything I've looked at. What they want, what the colleges want, is an amazing portfolio <laughs> of everything your student has done, okay? And that's what they're looking at, and that's what you wanna work on, is the experiences and um, just all the different courses that they've studied and the topics and interests that they have and the humanitarian work that they've done and the clubs maybe that they've been involved in, like stuff like that. That is what the colleges are looking at. They're not looking at, oh yes, they took ace pace. Okay, they can come to my college. Good and the beautiful history. <laughs> Never heard of that. No, <laughs> they just are looking at their grades and they're looking at the experiences and the topics of study. So 
that is why I would be okay with switching to the farm school and their way of doing things. So anyway, I hope this helped. Um, just kind of update you guys and I know there's not a lot of videos on YouTube about homeschooling through the high school years and it is tricky and it is confusing especially if you're in a state like I am or whatever where you really have to keep track of things and you really have to you know know those credits and know that curriculum and um, yeah it can just be hard so I hope this was of help to you. If you guys do have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer as I'm able and or as I learn. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are really having a good homeschool year if you are homeschooling. Um, and yes, I hope you will stick around to my channel. I do all things homeschool, home life, hobby farm life, and more. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.